Okay, this right here on my screen, I don't know if you can see it or not, but this is a decent example of being a inverted head and shoulders. Okay? And I shall show you where the head and shoulders are. Okay, this being your left shoulder over here. Left shoulder, right in this area. His base is right here. His head is way down here. Now notice this one here did not come all the way down. I go all the way to the base. If you look here, the base went right here. Now the right shoulder is right here because it's equal to the other side on the left. And you could trade it up for all of this gain right here. At this point, at the point of 0 0.64742 would be an excellent place to get a trade in and make all this profit right through this line right through here. I have a line chart so easily be seen. Look at all this profit where you could have made all this profit in here. Each one of these are now called a continuation. So the continuation started down here, right? So it's going up, retracement. Going up, retracement again. And here's the low point. Another retracement up to here. Each one is higher. Oops. Okay, I'll correct that here in a minute. Okay, going up. Going down. It keeps going up to this point up here. It has not decided to go down. It could go down a little bit more and continue going up more. I'll take and do the correction that I was going to do. So it comes down from here. Okay, so this here goes down, goes up. It makes a low. At any point, we have not found a, a head and shoulders yet. It just keeps on going up and going up, going up. This is on the hour chart of uh, AUD USD. That's Aussie dollar against the US dollar. Okay. And at this point, it's still going up. Now if you want to see this in candles, what it looks like, this is what it looks like if you put the candles on. So you got the head and shoulders. The left shoulder. The head. Which your head goes way down here, actually. Okay, that's where the candle goes. If I take and uh, clear that so you can actually just see the lines. Paste you down a little bit. So now you can see how the true market went. Went all the way up here, left shoulder, down this area, then the base. Come all the way down here, making a head with that wick. And zooms all the way up here, back to the base. And it's pretty much, if you kind of look at it, it's within a a reasonable area. Find the one I'm looking for. Rectangle. You can draw a rectangle or a square across here just to see, you know, where your left shoulder is. Once you have a left shoulder, let's find the left shoulder. Then you can start drawing your boxes across. Okay. And see that it comes back. You can find your base of the triangle, the head and shoulders. Notice that where it goes and then it comes back down goes back up to the base comes down and it goes back up Okay So therefore once you got that pattern you can pretty much you know 
trade that. Now if it would have come up to this and started making a pattern where it zooms down this way, that would have been an invalid. We've had violation of the, of the head and shoulders if it continues to keep going the other way. And we'll talk later about that as it becomes more advanced. How to create, how to keep from going into violation. Okay, now as you can see, the market just keeps going up if I correct my points. Okay, come somewhere in here. Let's say there's a little retracement right here. This one goes up. This one here, it did come all the way down here. So yeah, you could say it's a, a head and shoulders. But the thing is, it's not because this one came up. You're waiting for this to come all the way down to the base, right? So you could have got a short sell from here to here. But had you kept stayed on that trade, you would definitely would have lost when it broke the high. Okay, it's because I made a little tracement back down. And once it went up, made a little tracement, and now it's continuing going up. So you can say this is the left shoulder again. You could almost say it could do this. Say so, okay, it came up, came back down, it has left shoulder, a left shoulder, that's not too much higher. So somewhere in here is a left shoulder. So it'll come up from the bottom. Somewhere in this area you can say it's the left shoulder. It's come down and now it's making a new high. And you can say if it comes down to this area, you know, somewhere in here has to be pretty well level. It's going to be in that area somewhere. And if it happens to come up to this area, you can trade down. Okay. Another thing this market might do. It might come down here, right? Then it might come here. It might come here. It might come here. Let's keep going down. It might come back up here. And then whatever okay so that's the possibility now you're wondering what are those lines I have on my chart that the white lines why are they on there okay what I have done is these lines I have marked you know where the support and resistance is okay so here's a area right here that's the left shoulder of this it come it went up tap that right there come down and then it went back up to make a new high these highs did not go up higher than this high and then it come back down and then here's the right shoulder and it equals pretty much the same area as this right shoulder and look how the market just melted all the way down for all that pips and everything all that money that that went down all the way now it created its inverted head and shoulders down here. Now it's creating on the other side another shoulder. So therefore it could possibly come all the way back up to here after it goes down or it may come all the way down to match this right here which forms a support level. So I hope you got everything you need out of this video. Please watch the next one.